Okay, here we go. So this level is an introduction to... Well... Not fun. Um, I mean, it's fun in a really weird sense. But this level is your introduction to... A lot of the mechanics of this game. That you probably didn't want to have happen. Um, this is an absolutely brutal, long, and stressful level. <clears throat> okay, this level is kidney stone, okay? It's not like it- it's not pain all at once, it's pain spread out over like a day or two. And then a really, really awful, like, just your fucking body wants to break by the end of it. And we have the sword, so this makes it even worse. Now, I will say one thing. I like the implication that these little, like, skulls and shit down here are actually, like, you know, like, the next level, because they're part of the environment. I like that. Like I said, this game has some actually pretty cool environments, some of the characters look okay. Like, this Dairu-looking motherfucker we've been fighting for the past few levels, they look alright. The ninja character doesn't look too bad, I mean, his ass is way too defined, but... Like I said, we gotta give Lara the nice boobles, we gotta give the guys the nice buttles, okay? We, we gotta... We gotta fill out both sides for all types of people. But not in this day and age, you can't do that. Uh, big breast equals bad person, right? <sighs> I have... I have been shaking a stick at the hornet's nest right now, haven't I? Um, anyways... Oh boy! Uh, this level, however, is... It's really genuinely tough. Um, I'm not exaggerating. This was the first, and by the way, I'll show you exactly when we get there, uh, how far the game would let me play. Uh, because this was the level I could only get to. Um, I did try to use cheat codes to do it, but I'm like, eh, I wasn't really caring enough. I was also 18, and I was that 18 when I played this game, so... I, uh, I just didn't care enough to fucking keep playing. So it's been on my shelf for years, and I've always thought when I got into emulation, I was like, I should really do a let's play of this game once I learn it. And... Right here, the game would crash, and I'd never be able to see past the screen. So, remember those ghosts that somehow got me almost killed, and then I actually got killed because of, like, the fucking trap took off, like, nine quarters of my health? Yeah, it, it broke the laws of mathematics when it hit me, too. Um, these guys are cheesable. Uh, they are in a couple other levels as well. You're supposed to go around in a circle and, you know, you can be like, Oh, Seth, pick up all that money. You're, you're missing out. You can get uh, anime waifu dolls with all that money. You know, as tempting as it is, no. Those of you who don't know why I keep mentioning waifu dolls, it's because I, I bought a... I'm ashamed to say how much it is, but for the quality and size and everything, I spent 400 on a um, Amazon statue off GK Loot. It's fucking incredible. I am, I'm not usually a person that buys things, especially on impulse, but I had like my eye on that for months and I fucking asked everybody in my life if I was allowed to buy it, even though I could financially afford it with my taxes and shit this year. I was like, no, I need to, I need to get validation because, you know, I can't talk. This is too fucking hard. Fuck! Okay, that's fine. It's early on, so it's not a big deal. Um, if I died later, this would be bullshit. I gotta stop thinking about anime waifu stuff for like five seconds of my life. I don't even like anime. Okay, there's also a trap in here, too, on the next couple ones, so it's fine. I don't really want to be in this position, but it's okay. This is the hardest of these, I think, because this specific one has these traps, and it's really hard to tell where the hitbox is for those log starts. You want to go towards the area that has the gong. If you don't, well, it's going to fuck you up. That's all I can tell you. Um... Anyways, yeah, it was a really badass Amazon statue, and I was like, you know what, I don't buy anything because my cat has diabetes, and I... Actually, recently, we finally reached the... After six and a half or so months of, like, treatment and episodes of me having a mental breakdown every day over the vet, finally he's okay. Um, I'm just not gonna jump, because I feel like jumping makes this dangerous. Uh, and jump anyways. Fucking shit. It's too close. Oh my god. 
Um, yeah, I said, all right, fucking, <clears throat> let's let's just buy something for myself that I really want. And one of my coworkers and friends was like, oh, now you've opened the floodgates. You're gonna start buying anime statues, and I'm like. Yeah, but I, I don't have any interest in buying anything else. That's the thing. I, I never really gotten into figure collecting and shit like that because it's so goddamn expensive. $400 is really cheap. I know you're like, fucking $400 is real cheap. Uh, considering the price of a lot of them, that's pretty cheap. Um, and I have a tiny bit of excess money, so I'm like, I might as well buy something nice. I didn't buy anything for all that seven month time span either. So, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I'm very excited to get it. Uh, it doesn't come until March. I don't know when this is going to get uploaded. Probably after Medieval 1 goes out. I'm, I was tempted to buy Medieval 2. I'm still actually on the fence uh, wanting to get it. Because it is a pretty interesting thing to me, because I never actually played the full game. I played it when I was 18 on an emulator, uh, Yarhar style, with a friend. And I got like halfway through it, and I was like, eh, it's okay. But I don't think I'd played the first one all the way through at that point. Because I remember I bought it when I was 18, but I don't think I finished it. At least at that point, I don't think I had. So, you know, it's... It's tempting to buy it eventually. I might buy it out of completionist's sake, but it's not a priority. I'm not really a person who likes to buy shit. I bought this game when I was 18, by the way. I'm 29 as of right now. That's how long it's been since I've bought this game. So these boys right here, they can shoot lightning and... Oh, the Kappa dudes, they can, uh... They can just shoot fucking, like, a water ball at you and it does a shitload of damage. They're not really a threat, but... Oh my god. They're still pretty chuff. Not chuff, sorry, tough. This game is withering my brain cells, and you can start to see how... I prioritize enemies after a while, which, fuck, you see right there, he did it. Um, I don't think they can do that attack in the, like, temple level that I was in when I first saw them. I don't know, someone says they do, and I, I don't trust anything on the internet. I found one walkthrough for this game, by the way, on GameFAQs, because I was curious towards the end of it, like, how many fucking levels are in this game? Because... If I'm honest, I I was losing my shit at the end of this game. I wanted it to be done uh, at that point in time. So I was just like, I want to know how much more uh, because I don't think I could take much more. And uh, thankfully, uh, I saw how many levels were left. Oh my god. I need health real bad. I would love it if one of these guys dropped food. But that's a tall fucking order in this game. That's all right. I shouldn't have too much issue with the next part, he says nervously. Um, so this part, by the way, is probably what makes this level absolutely heinous. And I'm going to tell you right now, don't jump. Just, I'm going to be quiet. I can't talk and do this at the same time. That will kill me instantly because of how this game works. Fuck! Nothing else hurts it either. Don't jump. I know it's tempting, but don't do it. And there's still dudes after this. And they're not the easy ones! Nope, these boys shoot lightning. Which, I'm just gonna do this. I don't care, it's fine. We're not going to use smoke bombs for a while. Ooh. I don't know what the damage roll on that is, but I can already tell you it's probably enough to kill me instantly. Like most things in this game. And of course, they didn't drop any fucking food. That's okay. We don't need that. <clears throat> but... No, I'm, I'm really happy because I've, I've played D2 since 2011. Real fun. Randomness in game design is really fun, right? But um, I've played D2 since... I know there's food in the next portion. I'm just like, God, I wish I had more. Um, I've played this since 2011. Zahn's my favorite character. I always say Necro, but that's a mechanical thing. Appearance-wise and abilities and shit. Uh, and nostalgia is always going to be uh, Zahn. Like, just hands down. So... 
I figured, all right, I'll buy a thing for myself. And I just like seeing all the bullshit on GK loot. I don't watch anime for the record. I actually don't like anime at all. Um, I've watched a lot of anime in my life, and I have a lot of weeb friends, so... You can be like, oh, but Seth, you just haven't found the right one. You know, people that say that don't really get it, I don't think. But I'm not going to like anime anytime ever. And then there's always that one fucking weeb that says, actually, Avatar The Last Airbender is an anime. And I say, it's not. It is not an anime. Stop trying to make it an anime. Get your fucking spaghetti bullshit out of here. Okay, that's, by the way, a poison trap. If that, if that fucking show didn't look Asian, nobody would ever call it an anime. I am dead if it didn't take place in an area that looked like, uh, like Asia, they would never ever say that. I can say this without any hesitation. It is so fucking true. If it didn't... Okay, if it was just the Water Tribe, no one would ever say anything. But because it's got Asian stuff in it that looks Asian, people say, Oh, it's an anime. It's, it's not a fucking anime, dude. Oh, it's got a beach episode. It's not a fucking anime. <laughs> it's just it's just not. We're trying to make it one. It's not going to fucking happen. Like, I hear so many fucking idiots always try to do that. It's like, it's not a fucking anime. First of all, it's also not made in Japan, which, okay, according to my best weeb white friend, okay, like, bonus points if you get why I said white friend. Um, like, actually, it is an anime joke. Oh, funny. Uh, well, not funny, but, you know. Um, according to my, my friend, okay, anime, and I, t I take their word for this because they know more about the anime spaghetti than I do, okay? Uh, they went to the Japan land and they, they fucking, they got their, their badly made pizza. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> it's, it's a long story, but, um, you know. I'll take their word for it over anybody because they said it's not made in Japan. It's also made, it was animated in Korea because that's pretty common. I, and by the way, the only Korea that matters, I guess. Um, like, so by the way, this is timed and you have to do this exactly in the middle. If you do this at the wrong angle, uh, and you, you'll just not get the key. So it's not an anime, dude. That, that's all there is to it. I can tell you without a doubt, it's not an anime. It's also, like, I mean, I've seen shit from Legend of Korra, and it just doesn't interest me. My roommate watched the whole thing. Uh, she, she and, like, one other person I've met, and they all kind of say the same thing. It's not as good as the original. And I think that's because Avatar was, like, lightning in a fucking bottle. Like, there's no way you could recreate that. And I know there's, like, works of new Avatar stuff in the making. I'm just not really as interested, because I think... I, I don't think anything can capture the charm as well of the original Avatar. The art style, the music, the tone, the characters, the pacing. It's, it's, I would hesitate to say this, but I mean, it's, I like it better than Breaking Bad. Like, <clears throat> it's not, it's not my favorite show. Uh, my favorite show is King of the Hill. It's King of the Hill, Malcolm in the Middle, then Avatar, Invader Zim, Breaking Bad. I kind of have outgrown Invader Zim when I was younger. I really fucking loved it, but I I think it's just okay. I like Jonan Vasquez's art. He's a huge inspiration to me as an artist. Like, if you've ever seen my real art. Um, I say real art. I fucking working on a short film. What am I saying? But, um, th by the way, those dragons, you can't kill them. So, don't try. Anyways. No, dude, Avatar's just not a fucking anime. I wish people would stop trying to say, Ooh, it's a fucking anime. No. Boondocks is an anime. It's not a fucking anime, dude. It was inspired by anime. That doesn't mean it is. Why is it important if it is or isn't, by the way, to me? Because I fucking... It's the people that always try to say it's an anime have either A, not watched the show, or B, are untrustworthy in their opinions. So I just... I don't... I don't trust them, okay? <laughs> Um, it's just, it's not an anime. I, I don't care if it is. Okay, so what are the animes I've seen? Legend of the North Star, sorry, Fist of the North Star, which is the best ever. It's a fucking incredible show. Um, I mean, that's not an anime, it's a film, but whatever. It's, it's an old, old school anime. Um, I've seen Bleach, One Note, Death Note, or sorry, One Piece, Death Note, uh, Spirited Away, which I thought was overrated. Um, I've seen... 
What's the other one? I've seen the Pokemon anime, which I didn't really like. Um, what else? I've seen... I think... I, I know I've seen the manga. I've glimpsed shit from the manga of um, Fruit Basket. Uh, I think I've watched... If they made an anime, I might have seen it. I get it confused a lot with other things. I've tried to watch, like, the first season of Naruto. I didn't like it. I've watched DBZ. I've watched just regular Dragon Ball, whatever the fuck. The, uh, one about young Goku guy, whatever, fucking... I... I've seen Sword Art Online. I've seen bits of... What's it called? One Punch Man. Uh... Oh, what else? I've watched, like, the first two seasons of Digimon. Um, what's the other one? I've seen another Studio Ghibli film, and I just thought it was overrated. I just don't think it's that good. Um, but that's also just because I don't like anime, so the aesthetic's not really probably going to work on me. Uh, your stupid anime ways won't work on me. Oh, what's the other one? I've seen... Oh, what the hell is it? Full Metal Alchemist, I've seen Ghost in the Shell. Uh, I'm trying to think, because I've seen a lot of anime films. Uh, I've seen bits and pieces of Akira. Uh, what else? Like, I've seen scenes from it. Uh, I've seen a lot of really bullshit hentai things, and like, Yaoi and Yuri shit. Um, I'm familiar with Pico Noboku, that's why I made the white friend joke earlier. Um, by the way, the other thing over there is the battle axe. I'll pick that up, why not? I like the axe, I'm an axe man. Um, if I get the last coin, I'm really... Nah, it doesn't work. Damn it! Um, I like how he grabs what looks like a sharp object, by the way. That looks fucking really sharp. <clears throat> uh, what else? I've seen... Oh, uh, it's been, like, decades. It doesn't matter. If you name it, I've tried to watch Hello Kitty with my cousins. I've tried to watch Italia. I just... Mm, no, it's not my thing. This is supposed to be the uh, big bad guy in the beginning cutscene, by the way. Notice the severe lack of head tendrils on him, by the way, in the original cutscene. I don't know what the fuck any of this is supposed to mean. Oh, I'll get you. Oh no, it's Trogdor. That's the fucking Tomb Raider like teeth. Can't fool me. Um This boss is bullshit. Watch. He'll hit you, but it's pointless to hit him, so just use magic. Um, believe me, I've I've tried. I have tried so many different animes, and I have not liked a single one. And it's not just because I'm an idiot American, it's just I just don't like anime. It's not my thing. <clears throat> but I've tried. Oh boy, I've tried. I like how he speaks English for being a Japanese character, by the way. It's really funny. Um, but no, I just... Not an anime man. I don't like the aesthetic. I think it's really ugly after a while, because it all looks the same. And I'm just not a, not a big fan. So, let's go ahead and buy some shit. <clears throat> and I don't remember what the scroll is. I'm not worried... Or the mystery thing is. I'm not really worried about it, because... I could save state and just figure it out, but I guess I'll buy- I guess it's points, okay. That's fine, I'd rather get points than nothing. Um, the next level, however, is gonna be a fucking nightmare, so I'm a little... I'm getting a little nervous. Uh, I'd also like to point out we were in hell just now, and we somehow got back to uh, Earth through that, I guess. I don't know. Um, magic. <laughs> uh... This level is not bad, but it's pretty brutal, so I'll see you guys in the next one.